All right, friends, get comfy for this one. Today, our, uh, what are we at? I'm, I've lost track. Our eighth story for the Jesse tree is a huge story. So curl up with a blanket, get in a comfy chair. In today's story, Jacob has grown to be the father of not one, not two, but 12 sons. And one of those sons was his favorite. I wonder how the other 11 felt about that. Probably not so good. The one named Joseph has a story of a great journey. It is a journey of hardship, a journey that takes place across a great distance. It's a journey of growing through time. It's a journey of being trusted and given great power. And most importantly, it's a journey of finding forgiveness. Here is the story of Joseph. Joseph's Journey, a collection of stories from the Spark Story Bible. Joseph and his brothers. Jacob lived with his family in a place called Canaan. He had many sons. One of Jacob's younger sons was named Joseph. Jacob spent more time with Joseph than with his other sons. He even had a special coat made for Joseph. It seemed to Joseph's brothers that their father loved Joseph more than he loved them. They felt sad and angry. One night, Joseph had a dream. The next morning, he couldn't wait to tell everyone about it. I dreamed we were all in the fields tying stems of grain together. Suddenly, I couldn't believe my eyes. Your grain made a circle around mine and then bent over. You were bowing down to me. Isn't that exciting? exclaimed Joseph. Our grain did what? they laughed. Why do you think we would bow down to you like you were some kind of king? The brothers said angrily. Joseph hung his head and walked away sadly. The next night, Joseph had another dream. He excitedly told everyone about it in the morning. I had an even better dream last night. I looked up into the sky and there I was. I saw the sun, the moon, and the stars bow down to me. Isn't that amazing? He said. This time, his father was listening. Jacob was angry with Joseph and said, Why do you think your mother and I would stand next to your brothers and bow down to you as if you were a king? I don't like the strange dreams you are having. They will never come true. Now, his brothers and his father were really mad at him. Lucky for Joseph, Jacob decided to send his brothers off with the sheep for a while. Later, Jacob sent Joseph to find out how Joseph's brothers were doing with the sheep. As he was getting near them, his brothers saw him coming. Here comes our dreaming brother. Let's get rid of him, they planned. They grabbed Joseph and threw him into a pit. Ouch! The rocks at the bottom of the pit were hard and sharp. God, why are they doing this to me? prayed Joseph. A group of traders walked by on their way to Egypt. The brothers thought they'd get rid of Joseph once and for all. They sold Joseph to the traders and watched as he was taken away. Pharaoh's Dreams Joseph had many hard times. His brothers sold him to a group of traders. He was taken to Egypt far away from his family and was put into jail, even though he hadn't done anything wrong. Joseph thought, how long will I be in here? I didn't break any laws, but I'm in jail. He sighed. At least I know God will help me. Many months later, two men who had worked for the Pharaoh were put into jail. One morning, Joseph overheard them talking. One man said, what does it mean? I have no idea, but I hope I never have a dream like that again. It was terrible. The other man said, mine was too, the first man replied. Joseph asked, what's wrong? 
They answered, We had weird dreams last night. We wonder what they mean. Joseph said, Tell me your dreams. I can explain them. The men described them to Joseph. God helped Joseph explain their dreams to them. Two years later, Joseph was still in jail. One of the men Joseph had helped was with the Pharaoh. Pharaoh told him, I had a very scary dream last night. I wonder what it means. The man remembered Joseph and told Pharaoh about Joseph's way of explaining dreams. Pharaoh asked for Joseph to be brought to him. He told Joseph, First, I dreamed I was standing by the Nile River, and out came seven healthy, fat cows. They were eating grass. And then seven ugly, sick, skinny cows came and ate the fat cows. The pharaoh continued, Then, in another dream, seven plump, healthy ears of corn grew on a corn stalk. Then seven thin, rotten, unhealthy ears grew and ate the healthy ones. God helped Joseph, and Joseph could tell the Pharaoh what his dreams meant. They mean that for seven years Egypt will have plenty of food. Then there will be seven years where there is not enough, and the people will go hungry. The Pharaoh knew something had to be done. He put Joseph in charge of the whole country, and Joseph saved food for seven years, getting ready for the years when there would be a shortage of food. When there wasn't enough food in many countries, the people of Egypt had plenty. God had helped Joseph know what needed to be done. With God's help and love, Joseph did well, even through the worst of times. How do you think Joseph knew that God loved him, even when he was in jail? Joseph helps his family. God always watched over Joseph. God spoke to Joseph in dreams, and Joseph used this knowledge to plan ahead. When the famine came, people from all over came to find food for their families because they heard that Joseph had saved up for seven years. Even Joseph's brothers traveled to Egypt to find food. But it had been such a long time since they'd seen each other, the brothers didn't recognize Joseph. Joseph kept the secret of who he was from his brothers for a while, but soon he couldn't wait any longer. Joseph finally told them who he was. I am your brother, Joseph, who you sold to the Egyptian traders. Don't feel bad anymore, because God sent me ahead of you so that I could save people, including you. This famine is going to last for many years, so hurry back to our father and tell him that I am safe. I want you to bring your families and your children and all of your sheep and goats to live near me. Once Joseph's brothers saw who he was, they all hugged each other and cried. They jumped up and down with relief and joy. Joseph and his brothers talked and talked. The brothers talked from the time the sun came up to the sun, time the sun went down. When the Pharaoh heard that Joseph's brothers had come, he told Joseph, Tell them to go get everyone in your family. I will give them the best land in Egypt to call their own. Joseph gave his brothers wagons, food, and new clothes, and they went back to their father and told him the good news. Joseph is still alive. He is the ruler of Egypt. Everyone danced when they heard the news. This is all I could ask for, Joseph's father said. Now I will see my son again. Let's get moving. Joseph's family all moved to Egypt. But the brothers were worried. What if Joseph is still angry with us? We were so awful to him. What can we do? The brothers went to Joseph and said, Here we are. We don't deserve to be your brothers anymore, so we will be your slaves. But Joseph said to them, Don't be silly. I am your brother no matter what. 
Even though you planned for something bad to happen to me, God turned it into something good. How would you have felt if you had been Joseph and were seeing your brothers after such a long time? I am your brother no matter what. Being a sibling, a brother or a sister isn't always the easiest thing, is it? I'm a big sister. I love my sister very dearly. And today we're best friends. We've been best friends for most of our lives, but when we were younger, sometimes it was hard to be a big sister. I wonder if you've ever felt that about your siblings, either a big or a little sibling. But sibling love is a love that is very hard to break, isn't it? Here is our, whoa! Here is our beautiful ornament of Joseph's coat. Let's find a spot for it on our tree. Here we go. And friends, let us pray. God who loves us as a parent loves their children. We thank you today for the gift of brothers and sisters, even when it doesn't feel like they're the very best gift. We thank you that through our siblings, we have a forever friend or forever friends and supporters. Help us always to love our siblings. And God's people said, Amen. I'll see you tomorrow, friends.